Admiral Stavridis, uh, House Intelligence Committee Chair Mike Turner, says he's heard some of his Republican colleagues repeat Russian propaganda on the House floor. Let's take a look at his new remarks. We see directly coming from Russia the attempts to mask communications that are anti-Ukraine and pro-Russia messages, some of which we even hear being uttered on the House floor. I mean, there are members of Congress today who still incorrectly say that this conflict between Russia and Ukraine is over NATO, which, of course, it is not. Uh, Vladimir Putin having made it very clear, both publicly and to his own population, that his, his uh, view is that this is a conflict of, of a much broader claim of Russia uh, to Eastern Europe, and including claiming all of Ukraine territory as, as Russia's. Now, to the extent that this propaganda takes hold, it makes it more difficult for us to really see this as an authoritarian versus democracy battle, which is what it is. President Xi of China, uh, Vladimir Putin himself have identified it as such. We need to stand up for democracy. We need to make certain that, that we know uh, that authoritarian regimes never stop when they, when they start in aggression. Um, Ukraine needs our help and assistance now, and this is a very critical time for the U.S. Congress to step up and provide that aid. Boy, it's so important for him to say that. I'm so glad to yes, hear the chairman say you, that, just like Chairman McCall Turner. has spoken out clearly and unequivocally in support of Ukraine. And similarly, in an interview about freedom. with Puck News last week, House Foreign Affairs Committee Chairman Michael McFaul said, quote, I think Russian propaganda has made its way into the United States, unfortunately, and it's infected a good chunk of my party's base. Admiral Stavridis, can you talk about what's going on here, a uh, big picture, and what the dangers are? Uh, I'd love to. And by the way, uh, the two chairmen you just showed are uh, grown-ups on the House floor. Yeah. I don't agree oh with them gosh. on everything, but in the realm of national security and intelligence, uh, they are the best the Republican Party will produce for those seats. And I've worked particularly with Mike Turner uh, when I was Supreme Allied Commander of NATO. He was the head of the NATO Parliamentary Association connecting our Congress with the parliaments of many of the NATO members. Um, what are the dangers? That's what we ought to focus on right now. Mm -hmm. It is uh, precisely what uh, Mike Turner laid out a moment ago, Chairman Turner. It is the infection, and I use that word deliberately, of big chunks of the Republican Party with propaganda that is flowing not only from Moscow, but increasingly from Beijing. And uh, to the chairman's point, the danger here, Mika, is the fact that Putin will not stop at Ukraine. What's in his head are, at a minimum, the borders of the old Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, which newsflash included Moldova, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, the old borders of Russia. Uh, the latter three, of course, are members of NATO. So uh, the danger here is if we back away from providing this sensible amount of aid to Ukraine, uh, we can count on Vladimir Putin continuing to press forward, and eventually we'll end up in a collision between NATO and the Russian Federation, which, believe me, is a collision we want to avoid, they want to avoid, and the world wants to avoid.